so hello, uh, it's Asha from EBEX uh, second day again. And today we have a pleasure to speak to the Dean of, uh, of the Faculty of Engineering of University of Ghent, uh, Professor Luke Terve. I hope I didn't mispronounce your name. <laughs> Uh, so, EBEC, European uh, Best Engineering Competition, uh, is, a comp uh, is a competition in which um, eliminations, uh, there were um, students of engineering faculties from 18 uh, countries and 51 universities uh, taking part. And I would like to ask you, um, how do you think in the times of European Union, uh, how do you judge the importance of events such as EBEC? Well, I think uh, this is uh, very important, this international cooperation and also this international exchange of, of different students. And I think also the projects uh, are, are very interesting and uh, uh, I think they uh, stimulate the innovation and innovative ideas for the students. So, um what opportunities does it give to the students of engineering all over Europe uh, besides uh, being able to develop uh, our creativity? Well, I think it's always important to have uh, international contacts. I think the way in which uh, different students in different countries are working, um, to be confronted with that is a unique experience, I would say. And uh, apart from just the technical uh, aspects. And uh, as the hosting university, uh, from your point of view, uh, what are pros and cons of such a competition here in Ghent? Well, I think it are mostly pros we have. Uh, we, uh, I think we must be happy and also proud that uh, this event uh, takes place in Ghent. And I'm uh, very grateful towards the organizing, local organizing group here for taking uh, the initiative also and also for the practical uh, organization. So I think for our faculty and for Ghent University, this is a very uh, interesting event and very uh, favorable event for, for us. Cons, I don't know whether there are really cons. I think, of course, it, uh, there's, uh, there is a lot of work for the organization, but I think the organizing team is very enthusiastic and they don't see it really as a uh, con, I think. We're happy to hear that you don't see the cons. <laughs> um, there are 80 participants here at the moment and they are going to uh, solve the tasks of a case study and team design and which of them uh, could better show who is the best engineer this year and why? Could you repeat the question? Uh, who is the best engineer uh, in the point of view of the case study and team design? There are two categories the, the participants going to so are going to solve and which of them, in your opinion, is uh, likely uh, to show better who can be a better engineer? Well, what is a, a better engineer? In, I think in engineering, later on you will experience there are several aspects and it's difficult to say this type of engineer is better than another type. I think we work in uh, different uh, environments. Uh, me, I'm working in uh, research. Uh, there are other people working uh, with contractors and so on. And I think also when you compare these uh, two groups, I think uh, there are particular aspects in one of the groups and there are other aspects in the other groups uh, and, and it's difficult to say I think what is really the best or, or the most uh, interesting I think it's uh, it are two different approaches and I think they are both uh, very worthwhile. Uh, there are also a few companies who are supporting the event, as we can see behind us. Uh, for example, Opera or PNG. Uh, how, how do you think what do they have to win by supporting uh, such an event like European Best Engineering Competition? Well, it's, it's difficult for me to, to say what they have to win. <laughs> I can only guess what they have to win. I think uh, for these companies it's, uh, it's a way of promotion, I, w I would say, to, to be known with uh, young engineers and I think uh, 
it's always interesting for them uh, to have contacts with young engineers and I think they will employ later on also young engineers, but not only for, from this country, but perhaps also from other countries. And are there any similar events uh, to this one that you have taken part in or that you know of? Uh, no, not that I know. I think this is really a unique uh, event, uh, at least at European level, perhaps worldwide. And last but not le at least important question, uh, BEST is a student's organization which is operating all over Europe. And uh, what is the meaning of the local, local BEST group here at the University of Ghent? Well, the, the, the local BEST group, uh, I think, is uh, very active as far as I can judge. I cannot compare, of course, with BEST groups in other countries. But as far as I see here, it's a very enthusiastic and, and a very good working group. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for your time and for your answers. And I hope you will enjoy the time spent here during the competition. Thank you.